Uh, obviously, you must be delighted, not just with the result, but I suppose the, the performance of the players against the top team at Crusaders. Yeah, top side. Um, and they just seem to be thrown on player after player. And you're going, where's he come out of? And there's another. It's, and the quality of the score is, is, is absolutely phenomenal. And I think particularly when you go when you go one 0 down after two minutes, um, with the front four that they have on the pitch, you're thinking, here we go. This is going to be a long day. But as you say, credit to our lads. I thought that performance has been coming. I don't think we've had the rub of the green this season in relation to different bits and pieces. And you know, we've picked up four red cards already and dropped points along the way. And we've sort of partly our partly us to blame and partly. I suppose external sources. So today we were adamant that we wanted to get back to a big day here and a big performance here. And um, we seemed to have a few extra people through the gate as well, which was nice. And it's nice to send them all home happy. You mentioned Crusaders squad strength there already. You had to make a few changes yourself. And yeah, we did, and, and you know we we don't have the depth of a Crusaders or a Linfield or whatever else. But I'd, but I'd back what we have in the squad against against everything in the league, um, provided we can keep them fit and get them out there and. Today, obviously, missing those three were right down to the bare bones, and you know it took people to step in and step up for Mark. And the guys who did, I thought today were brilliant. You know, Glaggins come in today and done fantastically well. Uh, which and, and Aaron Fraser, you know, having missed the last ten months or whatever, twelve months, um, mentally more than physically for him to come through today and get through that today. Having been having been there myself as a player, you know, delighted for, and he's a huge part of what we're about as a club and a huge part of our changing room. And I think it was a massive score on today for everybody to see him back out there. The resilience showed. Conceding an early goal or and then coming back and yeah, four one lead, you must be very pleased. Yeah, we had to dig deep and and, and and particularly probably, you know, two one ups nice, but I thought the big thing for us was that first fifteen or twenty minutes of the second half and number one to come out and make sure we give them nothing to hold on or nothing to to get themselves back into the game. But beyond that, you know, Skinner's free kick was outstanding and Jamie gets his goal, which he probably deserves of his overall performance. And the way I thought we got about that first twenty minutes of the second half was um, was super and gave us something to hold on to going into the end. And as I was going to say, defensively, that last 20 minutes after Chris Hayward pulls a goal back, there wasn't too many clear cut chances that the boys nope. put their bodies in their mind. No, but credit to them, and it's why they are what they are. It was relentless. They just keep, you mm -hmm. know, even when they were 4 0 down, they don't stop. They just keep doing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And at no stage did they drop their heads and say, This game's over. And they just keep coming and coming and coming. And, um, you know, there's one disallowed with about four to go. And if that goes in, it makes it 4 and all of a sudden you're going, Here we go for a, for a grandstand finish. So thankfully, we were able to see it out that wee bit better in the last five or seven minutes. And, you know, you earn your three points against Crusaders, you always have in this league and always will, and, and today you know, we have earned it. You, you mentioned previously in the season that you want to make this place like a fortress again, and I suppose a, a, a win like today sends that message out, and with Lauren coming here next week, I suppose it's a timely reminder to them that they're coming to face a top team like yourselves. So. Yeah, you're hoping the last couple of years, you know, we've nothing but fond memories of here, nothing but fond memories of the atmosphere and the performances and some of the games that we've had, and, and today, you know, very much of it this season is about trying to get that back again and trying to get that buzz about the place again. You know, the new bar has opened upstairs at 1927 club, and there's been a huge amount of work behind the scenes going into that. There's more people through the gate today, which is which is important as well. And, and when we get them back and through the gate, it's important we want to come back next week. And hopefully that performance today will will, will bring a few more back next week. Well, obviously Crusaders closer their sixth clear of the fourth today. Cliffham will win in the tournament. So tight, just I, I don't see. <laughs> I just think it, it's just. Going, I just see it being the strangest season ever, where you know there could be six teams in the mix by, <laughs> by January, February time. It just looks as if there's so much quality in the league um, that it's just hard to say. Will anybody make a charge, or will anybody go that direction? Um, and for us, as I say, you know, we're frustrated at some of the points we dropped this year, and it's important on days like today that we that we go, particularly at home, try and get try and get big, big results. It gives you plenty to think about for next week. You mentioned the players that come in today. You've got players probably available next week. I mean, it's a nice problem to have. Well, yeah, the mindset is always grab the shirt and hold the shirt and, and, and hello. <laughs> and put the, and, and large performances in the bank. And when yeah. you large performances in the bank and, and, and you do things that are well, you have more chance of staying on the team. And, and that's the key thing that we look for. Just looking at that, Lauren, they're very different from the last time they were in the Premier League and they're packed full of quality. You'd be aware of the threat that they pose. Yes, you know, they're littered full of really good Irish League players and players that have been about this league for a long time. So, um, you know, there's no doubt in the transition that they've made and no doubt in how tough a, how tough a task it's going to be again next week. Oh, and just finally, um, James. What's this yeah, it's looking like four to six weeks probably with a hamstring. Disappointing for him, you know, the shape that he's got himself into and, and into that bit of goal scoring for him in the past few weeks as well. So it's one he'd have to take in the chin, but you know, we'll, we'll be key to make sure that he, he keeps doing that work behind him uh, to stay in the shape that he's in so he can come back and add to it as well.